Since the first benchmark results only yet to be released, i7-13700K CPU have surfaced online in the past several days, I think that now is a good time to make an in-depth video on this upcoming Intel 13th generation processor. In this video, I will tell you about i7-13700K specs, release date, price and performance, comparing it to the upcoming i5-13600K and i9-13900K, as well as the currently available i7-12700K and other AMD and Intel processors. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. i7-13700K is getting a decent upgrade over 12700K in terms of specs. It features a total of 16 cores and 24 threads, consisting of 8 performance P-cores and 8 efficiency E-cores. Compared to 12700K equipped with 12 cores and 20 threads, consisting of 8 P-cores and 4 E-cores. The maximum core boost increased from 5 GHz on 12700K to 5.3 GHz on 13700K. Both CPUs have a 125 Watt TDP, but PL2 on 13700K will be a bit higher, resulting in a slightly worse power efficiency under heavy CPU workloads. The difference should be minimal when gaming. All Intel 13th Gen CPUs will support both DDR4 and DDR5 memory. Memory speed has improved from DDR5 4800 on the 12th gen to 5600 on all 13th gen processors, which is nice to see as DDR5 memory kits keep getting cheaper. By the way, if you have a Z690, H670, B660 or H610 motherboard, then you will be able to drop a 13th gen CPU in it after a BIOS update. It is an easy upgrade path. However, it is the last generation supported on this platform as 14th gen CPUs will use a different socket. According to the latest rumors, i5-13600K, i7-13700K and i9-13900K processors, along with Z790 motherboards, will be revealed during the Intel Innovation Day scheduled for 27th and 28th of September. Non-K 13th gen processors along with B760 and H770 motherboards are expected to be revealed at CES 2023 in January. Currently there are no plans to release H710 motherboards. H610 will continue servicing this part of the market. As for the price, there are no leaks on that just yet. I expect it to be priced similarly to 12700K, which launched at $419 and now can be purchased for under $400. Now let's talk about the most important part, the performance. In Geekbench 5 multi-core test, i7-13700K paired with DDR5 memory managed to score 14.6% higher than i9-12900K. But what is interesting is that 13700K performs 16.5% worse when paired with DDR4 memory compared to DDR5. It will be interesting to see if DDR5 memory has a similar effect on gaming performance with this processor. Oddly enough, in Geekbench single core test, 13700K paired with DDR4 scored higher than the one with DDR5. Still, the better result is 5% higher than 12900K, so the new i7 beats previous generation i9 CPU in this particular benchmark. Unfortunately, we don't have any other benchmarks to analyze at this time, but make sure to subscribe and I will update you as soon as more information becomes available. Even so, these Geekbench results are a good indication of where the i7-13700K will land in terms of performance compared to other processors. It is great to see that a healthy competition with AMD prompted Intel to improve its products by so much so quickly. I would like to remind you that not so long ago in Q1 2017, Intel has launched a 4-core 8-thread i7-7700K, a pathetic number of cores by the current standards. 
And in Q1 2021, i7-11700K with 8 cores and 16 threads was released. Now, less than 2 years later, we will get a 16-core 24-thread 13700K in just a few months' time. It is amazing to see that the workstation level of performance is coming to mainstream PCs at a fairly affordable price. This right here is the power of competition. I hope that we will keep seeing such improvements in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.